unfortunately, the outcome wasn't what we were expecting. Um, nonetheless, we have already evaluated what ha transpired, the mistakes, where did we fall short, and uh, we are going back to the drawing board uh, to work on our other game. We have another game uh, on Friday, and uh, we have to. We are already working on what we will do for that game to avoid these mistakes and, and fix it. Today, we can see that the exposure was one of the biggest uh, issue that we had. Belize already plays far better football when it comes to female. One, but unfortunately, two, we three. haven't given the players the exposure for them to shake off the nerves and, and so forth. You know, uh, this is in our plans. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we were not able to execute it, to take girls out there before the tournament, you know, to have real games. We had games home against other national teams in, in, in our level. But um, it's not the same thing. We need the exposure so that the girls get used to the, the, this type of um, emotions, how to deal with the emotions when it comes to the tournament itself. If you were watching the game, in the first half, we started very shaky. But for all of those who stick with us and watch the entire game and watch the second half, we kept the pressure on the opponent. We kept the pressure. The ball was most of the time in the opponent half, but unfortunately we couldn't finish. And so you can see that it's just nerves and being nervous, anxious in the beginning, but after the girls started to play more relaxed and play their game. 